Hello, welcome to all in this SAP tutorial. Today's our discussion topic is how can we delete the purchase requisition in SAP, which is already approved. So our discussion topic is totally for understanding and the training purpose. First, you and release the purchase requisition using transaction code ME54N from the competent authority login. First, get the permission of to unrelease the purchase requisition from the competent authority. Then you can save the purchase requisition. Open the purchase requisition in ME52N. Delimit the service price to 0.01. Then select the main PR line. Select the delete icon and save. Then OPEX budget will free in the respective head. For example, if you have created the purchase requisition by mistake or some purchase requisition which you have already created, but now it's not required. So it's our personal suggestion to all of you delete all the such purchase requisition close all the such purchase requisition by delimiting the price to 0.01 why i'm going to say that delimit the service price to 0.01 if you are going to delimit the price zero then you are not going to system is not will allow you to delete the service line okay so we are going to execute the transaction code ME54N, okay, uh, ME54N and put your purchase equation here, okay, put your purchase equation here and uh, once you fill the purchase equation here, then see in the release strategy, uh, R1 and R2 both is approved. R1 is initiator and R2 is from competent authority. This is the purchase equation we have created for the vehicle hiring services against the cost center. So uh, we are uh, going to uh, we are going to cancel release first from the R2 competent authority and then we are going to cancel R1 and then we are going to save. See, once we save that both the release indicator is has been cancelled. Now you can edit the purchase requisition using ME52M. Now you can edit the purchase requisition using ME52M. Hope you understand. Now this purchase requisition is open in the editable mode okay and uh, see this is the similar purchase requisition and uh, go in the service line delimit the price to 0 0.01 This is the ZL account. In the account assignment, you can see that this purchase requisition is created uh, in head of the GL account 5020701. And uh, in the ZR55, uh, 5020701. Uh, in the version 0, uh, financial year 2021. And uh, the commitment item with respect to ZL head is B09502. B09502. Hope you understand. And uh, we are uh, going to check the budget available. See, the budget available is negative of 2199. 
because uh, the booking is done uh, of the amount 2199 okay now we are going to uh, delimit the service purchase requisition and uh, going to delete the service purchase requisition okay see <coughs> 0 0.01 and the quantity is also we are going to delimit system is not going to allow this yes gross void is 0 0.1 so the quantity is 0 0.1 and gross void is 0 0.1 so the PR amount is 0 0.01 okay so here uh, the budget is available is 2199 now our uh, purchase requisition is delimited to 0 0.01 price select the main pr line and click on this delete icon once you click on the delete icon see now our purchase requisition has been successfully deleted okay now our purchase requisition has been successfully deleted now we are again going to check the budget availability in the respective head okay same zr55 zfm1 and version 0 financial is 2021 same head c now the budget available is initially 2199 and budget amount is reduced to 2001 199 amount is has been reduced okay 198 amount has been reduced so this is the beauty of this uh, correlation process uh, once you book any purchase requisition or purchase order system will consume the budget in respective head now you are going to uh, change the budget uh, change the amount column then system will freeze the budget system will release the budget so this is the way how can you utilize the our planning budget and reports and all okay so if you have any query on your mind then please mention in the comment section and uh, again this tutorial has been created for uh, understanding and the training purpose for our friends, colleagues, and employee, and uh, please share this knowledge with your colleagues and friends because knowledge sharing is getting. Once you share this knowledge, then each and every person uh, working in this area will get benefited, and uh, this is totally uh, free. And uh, see, the knowledge which you get from this tutorial is very important for us okay and uh, if you really think this is useful tutorial for you then please uh, press a like button it will motivate to all of us to create more and more such uh, conceptual tutorial for you guys okay thank you have a very nice day see you in the next tutorial have a great knowledge sharing.